our next wonder of the solar system has been Earth's best friend and foe. It's bathed our planet with heat and energy, but it's also blasted us with potentially deadly, highly energetic particles and waves. We now navigate around number two, the sizzling surface of the sun. The surface of the sun is really quite chaotic. It's always boiling and bubbling. In particular, there are hot cells of gas that come out from the interior up, radiate their energy, cool, and then come back down. So this convection, as it's called, this boiling motion, similar to what you see in a boiling pot of water, is occurring near the surface. We have never been able to look at the sun's surface up close until now. At this very moment, a new collection of satellites is capturing images of our home star. These unprecedented movies make you feel like you're an arm's distance away from touching the sun's visible surface, called the photosphere. This is where solar storms and other violent phenomena occur. The surface of the sun, if you were somehow able to go there and protect yourself, is an incredibly noisy, hot, and violent place. There are temperatures, thousands of degrees. Uh, there are continuous magnetic storms that create huge, basically thunder-like sounds. In this new movie, NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded a prominence. This is a relatively cool, dense cloud of plasma that sits suspended above the solar surface, supported by magnetic forces. As seen here, prominences can occasionally rip free and jet into space. Our sun has an incredibly powerful magnetic field. But every now and again, those field lines become connected to hot spots on the surface of the sun. And as the gas and plasma boils inside the sun, those magnetic field lines can disconnect or break, releasing huge bursts of energy. And these throw up giant blasts of plasma that come out along curious looking arcs. But these are actually following the magnetic field lines around the sun. Eruptive prominences can occur in tandem with another solar ejection that can deliver a double punch if directed at the Earth. NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO, recently took dramatic movies of coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. These massive bubbles of hot ionized gas contain up to 10 billion tons of solar material they shoot out into space at speeds of several million miles an hour. Coronal mass ejections are incredibly powerful storms. They can be as massive as a billion H-bombs, just huge amounts of energy. And sometimes those big blobs of plasma strike the Earth and lead to beautiful northern lights, aurora displays. They can also be very harmful to the Earth. When large coronal mass ejections are blasted toward Earth, they can trigger geomagnetic storms. These blobs of ionized particles can damage or even terminate satellites, as well as fry our electrical grids. What's more, they're extremely hazardous to astronauts when outside of the protection of a spacecraft. The CMEs generate x-rays. So if you're out in space, you would get quite a dose of radiation if you were in one of these CMEs. Luckily, our atmosphere absorbs most of the x-rays, and we don't experience the bad effects here on the surface of the Earth. If you're high up in an airplane, uh, above most of the atmosphere, then you can get a larger dose of radiation if there's a large flare hitting the Earth. 
These latest images are chilling reminders that our sun's surface is a force to reckon with. And things may really heat up on our home star in the very near future. Solar activity runs through an 11-year cycle. In 2013, our sun will be at the peak of this cycle, called the solar maximum. At this time, the surface of the sun could create the perfect storm. The sun has had in the past big solar storms that have knocked out power grids and our communication satellites. There will be more storms. They might happen at any time or they may not happen you know, in our lifetime or even in the next millennium. We just don't know. That's one of the exciting things about studying the sun is trying to be able to understand and maybe even predict the storms that we see in the sun. But one thing a solar storm can't destroy is number one on our countdown of the seven wonders of our solar system. It's the fifth largest planet. One-tenth of its surface is permanently covered with ice. And its hot interior has been churning up enough magma to keep volcanoes erupting for billions of years.